six between the Amarillo Sod Poodles and your San Antonio Missions. Coming up right after this. Aaron Leisher, a left-hander Michigan native, gets the call here. As he is 6'3 and 208 pounds, age 23, getting the start on the mound for the missions. About ready to roll here on this Tuesday evening, and here is Camden Duzenak. Camden Duzenak. Doosing that coming in, and we are ready to go on this Tuesday night. Let's play baseball, and here's the pitch right there, and that's going to be a ball, and the count now 1-0. Leisher, native of Michigan from Mount Pleasant. He was the sixth draft pick of 2017 by the San Diego Padres. Here is the 1-0. And lifted high in the air. Running after it is the left fielder. He'll make the catch, and there is the first out of the inning. Well, a chance now to give you the starting lineups of the AA Central and the affiliate of the Arizona Diamondbacks. So far, Amarillo during their homestand against the Wichita Wind Surge during Sunday. Final score. Wichita 3, Amarillo 2. Now into the box is left fielder Corbin Carroll as he strides to the plate. And the count now, nothing and one. Amarillo back in the year of 2019, they were the proud double-A affiliate in the Texas League for the San Diego Padres. Amarillo debuted the game against Midland and Corpus Christi right there they're gonna get him down for the out and there is two away now here is the third at baseman Drew Ellis the hot corner guy first ever game against Amarillo and we want to welcome those with the side poodles Welcome to the great Alamo City of San Antonio. Here is the pitch by Aaron Leister. And that's going to be right there. Second baseman has it. Throws the first. And that is this half inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. We go to the bottom of the first. And we have no score. Tyler Gilbert, a left-hander from California, gets the call here. As you can see, 6'3 and 190 pounds, age 25. Getting the call for Amarillo for the home half of the first inning. Bottom of the first here is C.J. Abrams. So we lead it off here. C.J. And the pitch by Gilbert. That's going to be low and inside for a strike. And the count now, nothing and one. Got to say, let's give you ball clubs. Amarillo at San Antonio. Frisco at Arkansas. Northwest Arkansas at Wichita. Midland at Corpus Christi. And Tulsa at Springfield. Here's the pitch, 1-1, one, one, and that's inside for the four-seam fastball, and the count now is a ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch, swing and a miss, get him down. And here's the pickoff right there at first, and there is one away. Left fielder Ben Ruda coming up, strides to the plate. So far for Tyler Gilbert, he is from Santa Cruz, California. He was the sixth draft pick of 2015. He's for the Philadelphia Phillies. And he got drafted. And now he went from 
Philadelphia to the Reno Aces, and then he was called from AAA Reno to serve for the Amarillo Sod Poodles. And now the 2-0 right there, and that is going to be foul. And the count now, 2-1. 2 and 1 right there, and that is going to be right there. Pass to the pitcher, and they will get him out for the second out of the inning. Well, chance now to give you the starting lineups and the double A affiliate of the San Diego Padres here in the double A Central. So far, these guys winning 4 and 2 against Corpus Christi. They're in a three-game winning streak, looking for four games here tonight. And so far, if they beat Amarillo, that would be really good. Winston Sawyer up to bat now, the missions catcher. So far, first ever game against these two ball clubs. Welcome in, Amarillo. Double-A Central affiliate, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Two balls and no strikes. Here's the pitch by Gilbert right there. And that's going to get in for the base hit. And already one hit for the missions. And so far, so good. He, and that's going to be really nice as he gets that one right to right. And that's a base hit. Runner at first and in. In now, Tiersho Ornales. And lifted high. Third baseman gets it, grabs it, and there's the inning. No runs, one hit, one left, and we go to the top of the second. And Marillo coming up to bat next. Leading off, the catcher, Dom Marillo. Now leading off, the catcher, Dom Marillo. As he strides to the plate, top of the second for the Sod Poodles. Here's the pitch. Lifted high in the air. Right fielder has it. And there is one away. Well, time now for your mission's defensive alignment. And got to say, left field Ben Ruda out there. Scott Rohde in center. And Tiersho Ornales the right fielder. These guys really good for the outfield positions. And now here is Kristen Robinson as he takes a code strike and the count now nothing and one. Amarillo in their road grace. Red lettering and blue numbers and letters. So far, these are the jerseys that we've seen back in 2019 for the Sod Poodles. Now, I will say, they used to be the affiliate for the San Diego Padres back in 2019. They debuted their first seven-game homestand, first three against Medlin and four against Corpus Christi. Right there for the first baseman for the out, and there is two away. The right, fielder. the right fielder, Stone Garrett, coming in, ready to go. Here is the pitch by Leisher. Here is that one, and that's going to be outside and foul out and right. And the count now is nothing and one. Oh and one the pitch. Lifted and fouled. And a two seam fastball. And the count now 0 and 2 as that one gets fouled. Great home crowd we have here tonight. First ever game, and glad Mother Nature allowed us to play baseball. Right there. That's gonna be a base hit. Base hit. Garrett now at first base. And now looking for more as the Sod Poodles will get a hit. And that will bring in Andy Yerzy. Yerzy coming in, ready to go. Here is the pitch, and that's knee high out in the zone. And the count now is nothing and one. 
Yeah, and I gotta say, the weather is pretty nice. We've had rain. So far, this side of town has got seven inches of rain. Right there, lifted high. Third baseman under it makes the catch, and that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, one left, and we go to the bottom of the second inning, and we have no score. Bottom half of the second, here's the hot corner third baseman, Jason Vila. He strides to the plate. Beautiful evening for baseball. Blue sky, partly cloudy. And the rain, I will say, it's in the forecast through this whole week and can't expect delays out of this six game series. So far with the rain coming in tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Monday into next week. So far, if we do have cancellations, then make sure you get your tickets to any future missions game. And we will be apologizing to a lot of fans right there and lifted and foul. And the count now is a ball and two strikes. One and two, right there. And that's hit to the third baseman. And they'll get him down at first. And there's the first out of the inning. Chance now to give you your Amarillo Sod Poodles defensive alignment. And you gotta say, Stone Garrett out there in right field looking pretty sharp. Kristen Robinson and Corbin Carroll. All these guys out there patrolling the outfield. So far, they are good for Amarillo. Now into the box, Manolo Capua, the second baseman. He's trying to the plate. One away, nobody on here in this half inning for the Missions. Missions in their beautiful home white jerseys. Amarillo in their road grays. Lift it high in the air, and that will go foul. And the count, one and one. One ball, one strike. The count right there. Down low, in outside the zone. And the count now, two balls and a strike. Two and one. The pitch right there, and that is going to get hit right there. Can he run it out? And no. He won't be able to get there in time. And he will recover at third and make the play at first. 3-1 and now two away. Jackson Whitaker trying to the plate. First baseman for the missions and that's going to be a four-seam fastball on the count now, nothing and one. Tyler Gilbert, 22 pitches for Amarillo's starter. And that's going to be right there. Pass to the pitcher, and there's the inning. And what a play right there as that will retire this inning. Top of the third, no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We go to the top of the third, and no score. Top half of the third, here's the eight-hole hitter for Amarillo, LT Tolbert. Tolbert coming in. Here's the pitch. And they're called strike. And the count now is nothing and one. So far, brand new series. And we'll say if it gets rained out tomorrow night, make sure you stop by the missions ticket box office. And we will get you some new tickets to any future missions game here at home. 0 and 2 here is the pitch right there, right to second, right to first. Get them down, and there is one away, and that is pretty good. Now, here is the starter of the pitchers, Tyler Gilbert. Battle of pitchers here against. Aaron Leisher and Tyler Gilbert, and that's going to be lifted high in the air. Left field, that will go foul. 
And the count now is nothing and one. Here is the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and what do you say about that one? That one was nasty. Boy, howdy. Going to swing and a miss. Get him down on strikes. And Alicia wins that one against Gilbert. Two down. Camden Duzanak coming in. 0 for 1 here for Amarillo. Here is the pitch. And inside the zone, and a four seam fastball. And the count now is nothing and one. Padres is the missions. Amarillo, the Diamondbacks, 0 and 1. And lifted high in the air right there. And three up, three down. Another 1 2 3 inning with. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no one on base. Bottom of the third coming up, and no score. Scott Rohde, the center fielder, coming up for the bottom of the third inning for the missions. The pitch right there, and that's going to be a four-seam fastball, and the count now nothing and one. Missions look for their... Fourth victory of the night. They took four and two from Corpus Christi. So far, the hooks. They uh, pretty much lost that one ball game during the 4th of July night. So far, it was a three-all ball game. Missions got the last lap on that one. And it was a four to three final against Corpus Christi. Here's the pitch down low outside the zone and a full count now three and two. Here is the pitch and lifted high in the air center field running after it. And he'll make the play out there in the alleyway in front of the warning track. And there is one away. Aaron Leisher, the starter pitcher, coming in. And that's going to be lifted high in the air. That will go foul. Look out over there at the Amarillo bullpen. And the count now, nothing and at one. Inside the zone, and the count now 0-2. Gilbert, one of the best in the AAA teams, even though he was called for double-A ball here in the Central. Even though he was from the Philadelphia Phillies, Phillies drafted him in 2015. And then he was traded to the Triple A Reno Aces. And then called for Amarillo for the Double A Central. Well, second strikeout to Tyler Gilbert. And that will bring in CJ Abrams, the leadoff hitter. Ready to go. Here's the pitch by Gilbert. And that's. Down low in the count now, nothing and one. Strikeout in the first 0 for 1 is Abrams. Abrams is the player of the week. As those two ground hops, he can high throw in a degree angle, and they get a runner out at first, and Abrams has done that just perfectly. Through the Corpus Christi series. That's going to be lifted right there. That's going to be a base hit. And he's going to try to stretch it. Can he get it in there? Yes, he will. He is in at second base. And what a way to get in there. And now that will bring in Ben Ruda. Strides to the plate. A base hit gets the runner. Out at second is C.J. Abrams. And that's going to be far and wide, and the count now 1-0. Oh. 
Ground out in the first 0 for 1. Two away and the tiebreaker run, which is C.J. Abrams out there at second. And the count now is 1-1. One and one. So far, the missions look for the fourth victory. Took the weekend games against Corpus Christi. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday games. But evidently winning four of two in that six-game set. Right there, lifted high. Third baseman running after it. Makes the play out in foul territory in front of the Amarillo dugout. And that ends the inning. No runs, one hit, and one left. We go to the top of the fourth, and we still have no score. Top half of the fourth for Amarillo, and leading it off is Corbin Carroll. Carroll coming in, 0 for 1. Start up the fourth inning for the Sod Poodles, and that's going to be in there. A cold strike, and the count now is nothing and one. So far after this six-game set, the missions will head to Corpus Christi, and they will be back on July 20th, taking on the Springfield Cardinals. And right there, that's going to be back up the middle under the legs of the starter pitcher. And Amarillo getting a no-out single. And that's going to bring in for Amarillo, Drew Ellis. Double play possibility and a Taco Bell at fat at that one. A four-seam fastball and the count now is 1-0. So far tied in this ball game. Both Amarillo and San Antonio are good. They are ball clubs that may have started to know each other, but we'll say this ball club knows the affiliates. Amarillo knows the Padres. So far they were just a two-term deal back in 2019 and 2020 while the missions were up in AAA and the Milwaukee Brewers AAA affiliate for the two years swing and a miss and one away and second strikeout the leisure now batter, the catcher and that'll bring up the catcher and now bring in Dom Margolio Magrolio coming in, and here is the pitch right there inside, a code strike. And the count now is nothing and one. Magrolio fly out in the second and 0 for 1. So far, let's give some shout outs. We've got fans from Water Ridge Field watching in the downtown Metroplex. As Water Ridge Field belongs to the Sod Poodles. Downtown Amarillo, Texas Panhandle. One and one right there and lifted high in the air. Right fielder on his horse and there is the second out of the inning. So the runner will have to go back to first base and he does safely. And now here is Christian Robinson. Robinson is 0 for 1. So far, a base hit can get this team an offense going for the Arizona Diamondbacks and their double-A central team here for Amarillo. 0 and 2 the count. Two away and a runner at first for the Sod Poodles. Top of the fourth inning. No score to this point. Leisher kicks and deals the pitch right there and far and wide outside the zone. And the count now is a ball and two strikes. So far for everybody out in Amarillo. Pretty good ball club and affiliate. Congratulations 
to the Amarillo Sod Poodles and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Ten years is pretty good for these affiliates such as San Antonio and the Padres organization. Padres started here in 2007. They work their way up to 2018. Lifted high in the air, and that's got enough. And that is gone. Amarillo strikes for two. Christian Robinson, first home run at San Antonio, and he gets it going. And the home crowd is like, well, what the heck was that all about? And now the sod poodles are on the board. It is a 2-0 ball game. As you can see, that bounced off the base of the scoreboard now batting, right fielder. and now that will bring up the right fielder Stone Garrett as he comes in the four seam fastball and the count now is nothing and one single in the second one for one as he strides to the plate so far Amarillo scored the double swing and a miss in the four seam fastball and the count now is 0 and 2. O and 2. The pitch. And lifted high in the air. Left field has it. And Ruda will take that for the out. And that will do for this one. Christian Robinson delivers a two run shot for the Sod Poodles. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. Amarillo leads it two to nothing. Winston Sawyer comes up and starts the bottom of the home fourth inning for these missions. And now here is the pitch and that's gonna be fouled off and the count now is nothing and one. Partly cloudy skies. About 75 degrees, and that's going to be right there. That's going to be a fair ball, and that is going to get a base hit. And the runner jump throws, and he still stays at first. Why not? And that brings in Tierso Ornales. Tying run up at the plate, and lifted high. Left fielder chasing it, and it drops for a base hit. And it got to say for Amarillo, they may have got a tiger by the tail, but evidently it comes back and gets them. And now he got first and second and nobody out. And now third baseman Jason Vila coming in. The pitch now outside in the zone and the count now is nothing and one. Vila grounded out in the second and he is 0 for 1. So far tying run now at first base hit gets the tank game tied. Swing and a miss. The game is going to get tied. I don't know but I just stuttered a little bit. I mean guess it's Amarillo being here for the first time, but I say it's all right. They are invited guests. Nothing and two. Swing and a miss, and that was too high. And Vila just swung out of his shoes, and Gilbert now will get a third strikeout for Amarillo. And now here is Manolo Capua. Coming in, ready to go. Here's the pitch outside, far and wide, and the count now, one and no. Kapua is a ground out in the second, 0 for 1, for the missions here tonight. one -oh, the pitch, and lifted, and that one is out of play and foul, and that will go left, and... A fan will get that baseball. 
And that is down low, and the count now two and one. Gilbert from San Santa Cruz, California. Went to Southern California College. So far pretty good, and that's gonna be lifted high in the air. And that's gonna bring in a runner. And the runner tags up, it goes from second to third, now got corners loaded. And now Jackson Whitaker, 0 for 1, a ground out in the second, strides to the plate. Whitaker coming up, and here is the pitch right there, and that's going to be line drive. That's going to get down. That's going to get some trouble, and there we go. The run is coming in. One run comes, two runs come, and that's a tied ball game right there, folks, and it is right in there the missions on the board and they are tied with Amarillo at two and two so far so good now Scott Rohde coming in strides to the plate and that's gonna be a ball and no strikes fly out in the third tiebreaker run out at second so far looking for a base hit and that will get the tiebreaker broken. Four seam fastball and the count evened at one. One ball, one strike, two outs, runner at second. Bottom of the fourth, Amarillo and the missions are tied at two. Two and one. And that's lifted high in the air. And that's going to be trouble as it is. It will bounce off the wall. Run is in the score. And the missions retake the lead. Three to two. Now batting, the pitcher, Aaron. And boy, how do you say hello? How are you, Amarillo? And that right there. They come back. They grab the tiger by the tail. And a curve ball, and the count now is a ball and no strikes. Aaron Leisure up at the plate. Nine hole starter on the mound for the missions. And that's going to be lifted high, and that's going to be trouble as it is. The run is coming, and score number four is in. So far for the missions, now four runs already played it in the bottom of the fourth inning. And now that brings in C.J. Abrams. Looking to go here. Looking for win number four in this one. It's a four game winning streak for the missions. And so far, San Antonio can do it. Ellen won the count. C.J. Abrams out at the plate, and oh my goodness, look at that one go, it is gone! Out of here! And C.J. Abrams, two run shot. And now the missions have scored six times to the bottom of the fourth. My goodness gracious, I think Amarillo might have underestimated the missions. And probably they did. Grab the tiger by the tail, the old saying. Holy mackerel. And now Ben Ruda, the left fielder, coming out. And a changeup, and the count now is nothing and one. Surprised to say, Tyler Gilbert giving up six runs to the missions. And so far, six have been all earned. Outside, far and wide, and the count now is a ball and one strike. So far, surprising that the pitching coach hasn't come out to pay a quick visit. And so far... Amarillo in this first game ever of six against the San Antonio Missions. 
And got to say, they are in trouble. They are just down by four runs. C.J. Abrams delivering that run. And that's going to be right there, right the second and right the first. And finally, that draws the inning to the close. Six runs come in across the score. And we go to the top of the fifth. San Antonio up in front, six to two. Top of the fifth, and here is Andy Yerzy. Pop out in the second, 0 for 1. Ready to go here in this half inning. We're halfway through this ball game here tonight. Here's the pitch right there, and that is going to be outside, right in the right, and foul ball near the home dugout. 0 oh and 1. The pitch right here in there. Called strike, and the count now is 0 oh and 2. So far, Aaron Leisher from his Michigan home, Mount Pleasant. So far, Leisher was the sixth draft pick of 2017 for the San Diego Padres. Went to Moorhead State College. And now here's the 0-2, right there, outside. And the count now is a ball and two strikes. So far, want to welcome all of those that come out to tonight's ball game. There are Mission fans and there are Amarillo Sod Poodle fans. One ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch right there, lifted high in the air. Center field on his horse, and he grabs that one for the out. And there is one away. Now LT Tolbert's coming in. LT. 0 for 1. A Tolbert. ground out in the third for Amarillo. So far, beautiful evening. Partly cloudy. Chance of rain in the overnight. Those could turn to thunderstorms. Here's the pitch right there inside the zone. And a code strike in the count now, nothing and one. Tolbert is 0 for 1. And so far, so good for him on his side. And now the count right there, slider. Outside, and the count now, 1 and 1. 1 and 1. Here's the pitch by Leisure to Tolbert, and that's lifted high in the air. And that's going to fall for the base hit. And Tolbert is now out at first base. The, the pitcher, Tyler Gilbert. And now that brings Boy, in complete. the pinch hitter for pinch hit. Amarillo, Austin Rye. Rye. Rye is coming in. Pitch hit for the side poodles. And that's going to be a four-seam fastball far and wide outside 1-0. Top of the fifth, missions have the upper hand. 6-2 to two is the score. Here in the top of the fifth inning right there. And look out as that ball is out and into the audience. And the count now is 1-1. One and one. One and one, the pitch right here, and that's going to be a base hit. And now you got first and second, and one away. And so far, Amarillo trying to get back in the race. And now here's Camden Duzanak. Two fly outs, 0 for 2 for Amarillo. The leadoff hitter tonight is Camden. Runners at first and second and lifted high in the air. Right fielder, run it down, my good man, and he takes it. And that's the second out, but meanwhile, first and third. And two away as the right fielder makes the grab. Two away, and now Corbin Carroll comes in. One for two. 
And gotta say, that right there is pretty exceptional. Oh, and one. In there, a called strike, and the count now, oh, and two. Leisure throws and oh, back in standing. Leisure waits and he fires and fouls that one off. A four seam fastball and the count now is nothing and two. Oh, and two. Right there. High fly ball. And that will do for this half inning. No runs. A couple hits, two left. We go to the bottom of the fifth. San Antonio leads it six to two. Your attention, please. Now Levi Kelly Levi. coming in and. Go ahead and pull up his stats for Amarillo. And now Winston Sawyer coming in as we'll start the bottom of the fifth with two for two, two singles and a run. And that's going to be in there, a code strike. And the count now is 0-1. Levi Kelly from St. Albans, West Virginia. Eighth draft pick in the Arizona Diamondbacks during 2018. So far, birthday is May 14th, 1999. Well, a chance now to look at the starter pitcher, Tyler Gilbert. And so far, he gave up eight hits and six runs, struck out three. And so far for Amarillo, this could be a losing moment. If the missions win, he will be tied to the loss for the losing side. Chirsho Ornales coming in. 6-2, missions against Amarillo. Kelly w went to school at IMG Academy, Brattonville, Florida. So far, so good. One and one right there. Swing and a miss and a changeup. And the count now, one ball and two strikes. Missions look for their fourth victory and a four-game winning streak. Scoring six times in the bottom of the fourth inning. Give them the advantage. Right there, lifted high. High fly ball right to right. And the right fielder for Amarillo takes that for the second out of the inning. The third baseman, eight. Hot corner third baseman Jason Vila coming out as he grounded out. Last time up. And here is the pitch. Right there, a four seam fastball, and the count now is nothing and one. 0 oh and 1, the pitch here, and lifted high in the air. Left field, center fielders chasing it. And the center fielder. We'll get that one for the final out of the inning. Top half of the six. The missions lead it against Amarillo. And the score of six to two. Now Drew Ellis for Amarillo coming out as he grounded out. And now here is the pitch right here. Ellis... Gets that one, and that goes to the left fielder for the out, and there's one away. Now batter, the catcher. Dom, Dom. Mergolillo coming in. Or I'm trying to pronounce his last name. Maragolo, is it? 
Right to third. Right to first, a 3-1 pickoff play. And two away. Kristen Robinson, one for two, two run shot in the fourth inning. Strides to the plate. And now here is the pitch, right there, lifted, but that goes foul, and the count now is nothing and one. Oh and one, here is the pitch, and inside the zone, called strike, and the count now is oh and two. Owen oh 2 and breaks his bat right to Leisure. Leisure fires to first, and that's the inning. Well, look out for the broken bat out there and the shrapnel, as that will do for this half inning. No runs, no hits, no wearers, and nobody left. We go to the bottom of the six, and the missions lead it 6-2. to two. Leading up. For San Antonio. Manolo Capua baseman. coming out, Number fly out in the ground out, 0 for 2. Looking ready as he is, Kelly. Fires, delivers, Whoa. knee high outside the zone. And the count now is 1 and 0. Oh. The pitch by Kelly outside, but called strike. One ball, one strike. And the count now is 1 and 1. In there, a slider, one ball, and two strikes. Levi Kelly throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and a two-seam fastball in his arsenal of goods. So far, he's got it down, and pretty much he can strike out the side on nine pitches. Right there, right to third, right to first, and a 5-1 play. Get him down and one away. Now Jackson Whitaker, number Jackson. seven header, one for two. Double two RBIs and a run. So far, ribbies are pretty good, but if you offer a ribeye steak, that's even better. Tastes good as well. Whitaker gets a 0-1 count. Levi throws that strike. And now here's the 0-1, right there, swing and a miss, a change up, and the count now, nothing and two. Want to remind all of our fans that tomorrow, through this series, Wednesday through Sunday, if rained out games are possible, then make sure you come by the missions box office and we will get you a new pair of tickets for our next home stand against the Springfield Cardinals. Two and two right there. And that's going to be a base hit right up the middle. And so far that is going pretty good. And now one away and just a single in there. And that brings in Scott Rohde, number eight hitter of the night and lifted high in the air. Center fielder running after it. And uh-oh, there's gonna be the pickoff play and that's a double play right there. And don't know what caught his eye, but something did. He left the base and now got doubled off. And that ends the inning. We go to the top of the seventh. The missions lead it six to two. The right fielder. And now the right fielder, Stone Garrett, coming in. Start the top half of the seventh inning. Here is the pitch right here. Far and wide, up top, and the four-seam fastball. And the count now is 1-0. and oh. Now make sure that you are well prepared of anything that is weather-related far as the rain. So far, if there is a possibility that games are canceled, make sure you come by our office and we will get you tickets to our next homestand against Springfield. 
2-0. Here's the pitch right there. Too high. And a count now. Three balls and no strike. And on deck, Andy Yerzy. Yerzy is coming in. And one for two by Stone Garrett. Rio pitch, pitch by Aaron, and ball four, and you gotta say right there, that could be a good chance that a Taco Bell double play could come into effect. And now Andy Yerzy is coming in, fly out, pop out, 0 for 2. And here is the pitch right there, outside slider, and the count now is a ball and no strikes. So far, Leisher doing really well, but so far his pitch count is at 65. Managers and pitching coaches are keeping a good eye on the starter. And a slider, and the count now is one and one. So far, Missions looking for the fourth victory of the night. They took four against two against Corpus Christi. So pretty much four and two against the Hooks. And that's going to be a four-seam fastball. And the count now, a ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes count, and that's lifted high in the air. Center field under this one. And the runner not tagging, moves back to first. And so far, one away. LT Tolbert coming in, one for two, single in the fifth. Strides to the plate. Leisure. Pitch and deals. Here's the pitch right there inside the zone. Called strike. And the count now is nothing and one. So far, things going pretty good here this evening. Weather is beautiful. And yes, we got to thank Mother Nature for what she did for us today. Lifted high, but that's going to be extra bases. Going to second, going to third, going to third, going to second. And that's going to be in there. The run is in the score. And now the Sod Poodles the pitcher, trail by Levi three Kelly. against the Missions. Ladies and, gentlemen, and now a new pinch please. hitter here. Jake coming McCarthy in coming Jake in, McCarthy. covering for the pitcher. And now here is that right there, and a fouled off ball, and the count now, nothing and one. Runner at third, one away. McCarthy coming in, ready. Pitch and deals, here's the pitch right there, and that's fouled, and the count now is 0-2. Oh, and two. Right there. And boy, howdy, look out over there. And that one nearly gets somebody in the bullpen for Amarillo. My goodness. Look out over there. Oh, and two. And that's going to be line drive. That's going to be trouble as it is. And now the fourth run comes in. And now the fifth run awaits at third. And now the tying run coming in for Amarillo. And now that brings in Camden Dozenak as he flied out in the fifth and 0 for 3 here tonight. So if Amarillo comes in and scores, then the tying run is in. And that means the missions have to go in and dig themselves out of the hole and try to get into a four-game winning streak. 
And now time is going to be called. And now Jerry Keel, a left-hander from California, is going to get signaled to the mound to do pitching. Leisure did pretty exceptional. And now the manager is going to take him out of this game knowing the night is done for him and so far they need to try to hold these couple of runs. Left fielder Jerry Keel from California coming up as he is 6'6 and 240 pounds. So far a New pitch on relief, and here's the pitch by Keel, and that's right there. Right to third from first, and they get him. And now the run is scored in, and Amarillo now trails by one. Tying run is Corbin Carroll. Single on a run, one for three. Strides to the plate. And he is ready to go. Six five our score. Missions lead by one. The pitch right there. And that's going to be a base hit. And this inning is getting out of hand for the missions. I think Amarillo is saying to their next door neighbor. You dragged the tiger out, and now you got him by the tail, the old saying. And here's pitch right there inside, four seam fastball. And the count now is nothing and one. Drew Ellis coming in and ready to go. Here is. The pitch by Keel down and low, and the count now one and one. So far, somebody in the audience is saying, Bad call, you ump. One and one. Right there, called strike. And the count now is a ball and two strikes. Keel. Sets and deals right there. Right the third and right the first. They get them down and finally they end the inning. Three runs come in across the score on a couple of base hits and no errors. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's a six to five ball game. Now pitching is Kevin McCona. McCona coming in. And now we're going to have a pinch relief hitter due for the missions. Number 58. Starting up the bottom home of the home seventh. Well, we call it the stretch inning. Why not? So far, the night sky coming in. Missions look to get some runs back. Lifted high. And that goes foul. Hits the building. So far, the missions look to hold on. By golly, hold on to dear life. Here is the 0-1, and that's going to be lifted. High fly ball, right to right, and that goes out for the first out of the inning. C.J. Abrams back in the fourth inning. Got the pair in there that he wanted. And he drills that one out of the ballpark. And it was far and wide. Gone as it is. And the six runs held up. Now here is the pitch right there. Four seam fastball. And the count now is 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. And the count now 0 and 2. Two for three by Abrams here tonight as he got that two-run shot back in the fourth inning. Far and wide, outside, knee high. And the count now, a ball and a two strikes. 
looking for a win. One and two. And that's going to be way high up there. Right field has it. And that is the second out of the inning. Now batting, the left fielder, ben. That brings up the left Ruda. fielder, Ben Ruda. Strides to the plate as he was a ground out in the fourth and 0 for 3. Nighttime finally coming on us. And this ball game getting ready to close right there. And the right fielder runs it down and not hit hard enough. And that will do for this half inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. We go to the top of the eighth. And Amarillo coming to bat. Ladies and gentlemen, Evan Miller getting called upon to pitch here as we'll start the top of the visitor eight. Six two and two hundred pounds, age twenty-four. As he gets the call here. Top of the eighth, and leading it off is Dom Margarilo. Trying to I mean, I'm sorry guys. I do apologize, Dom. Magrillo is his last name. So far, it is one of those names that you say, do what? What did you say? Don't kill me later, Dom. I'm just kidding. Swing and a miss. And Dom is now in that 0-2 count. 6-5 to five our score. In the top half of the eighth inning, the missions have to hold Amarillo off for at least six more outs, and they can preserve a W. Right there, lifted high, and that one is gone! And the ball game is tied. Ball game is tied like no tomorrow, and now the sod poodles and the missions are evened up at six and six. Well, the sod poodles tonight, they don't go down without a fight, and they know it right there, and that's going to be lifted high in the air. And high fly ball, and there is the out in center. And that will do it. One away. Now batting, right fielder, Stone Garrett. And that brings in Stone Garrett. Garrett coming in. And here's the pitch right there. Swing and a miss in the count down. now. Nothing and one. Well, I got to say, top of the eighth, we're scored. At six apiece for both the sod poodles and the missions right there. And that's going to get down for a base hit. Well, Got to say, Garrett, he's been really exceptional through this ball game. And now here is Andy Yerzy. 0 oh, for 3, the number 7 hitter for the Sod Poodles. Fly out in the 7th, 0 oh, for 3. That's a ball. And that's a ball far and wide outside, and the count now 1 and 1. 11,789 fans tonight. Come out on a beautiful Tuesday night and glad Mother Nature finally said, oh, you know, I'll be nice. I'll let these guys play baseball. Why not? It's a game in the seasons. I mean, they come and play a game and so far let the game get done before the rain begins. That's a good way of getting this game done one and two swing and a miss and Andy goes down on strikes two away and now the tiebreaker run and now we'll bring in 
LT Tolbert. Tolbert coming in, ready to go, and lift it high and wide. And good thing that goes foul out in the left field, and that does. And now here is the pitch, right there, lifted high. And now will get down for the base hit. Now you got runners at first and second. Now so far on the bench, Kevin. Michael De La Cruz, Kevin. Jamie Ritchie, and Drew Irving. Well, I gotta Your say, Michael please. De La Cruz coming Michael out the pinch hit. So far, I think there is another guy on the Corpus Christi Hooks. Got the same name as De La Cruz, but his name is Brian De La Cruz. And that's going to be in there. A four-seam fastball. And the count now is nothing and one. Two on, two away. Top of the eighth, a tied ball game against these two ball clubs. Lifted high. And that goes foul, and the count now is 0-2. Good crowd we have here tonight. Tuesday night baseball underway. Beautiful and exceptional evening. And swing and a miss, get him down, and that ends the inning. No runs, couple hits, and one left. We go to the bottom of the eighth. And it is... A tie ball game. Six and six, the score. Your attention, please. JB Bukaraskas coming in. Right, well, okay, that's just a weird last name that he has, but okay, I do apologize, JB. Bukaskas. And now Winston Sawyer. Sawyer coming up. And now that's going to be a slider and outside. And the count now is 1 and 0. Oh. Ball, Ball 2 change up. Two and oh. The count now 2 and 0. Oh. Missions look to regroup and get some runs here. And so far, that's what they need to get in this one right there. And that's gonna fall for the base hit. And the tiebreaker run is out at right first. Here, and as you look Here's at the up. instant replay, that one, right field and first baseman tries to grab it. And you know what's funny, neither one of them could get it. <laughs> Well, here is Tierso Ornales. Ornales coming in. And that's going to be a foul. And the count now is 0-1. He, yeah, try to get it again, would you? So far, that right there shows why the missions may win it here this evening. 0-1 right there. And that's got a chance. It's going to get down. And yes, it will. And it's going, it's going, it's in there. And that is the tiebreaker run. And San Antonio back in the foot race. Well, the crowd goes wild, and yes, they do. And now they are ahead of Amarillo by the score of seven to six. Nobody out, and now another runner is at second base. Jason Vila coming in, fly out in the fifth and 0 for 3. So far a base hit turns the complexion of this game. And now here is the pitch, right there, far and wide. Nearly close to the zone. And the count now is 1 and 0. 
The pitch right there and lifted high in the air. And the left fielder runs it. And that won't be enough to get the runner to advance as they get the ball back in quickly. And now the count now resets. And now one away, Manolo Capua coming in this ball game. 0 for 3. Outside, far and wide, and a slider. And the count now is a ball and no strikes. Miguel Aguilar and West Tunnel. Lefty and a righty warming up in the Amarillo dugout. So far coming in. 1-0, here's the pitch right there. And Manolo Kapua right there flies out. And two away. And gotta say, two outs. And now Jackson Whitaker coming in. Two for three, double, single, and two ribbies so far. As he comes in. And now here is the pitch. Right there, lifted high. High fly ball, running after it. And that will bounce off the wall. Left fielder stops for no reason. And now the missions are up by two. And now Scott Rohde coming in. The mission's getting refired up. And now they say we don't go down without a fight. And that is the true words right there. One for three, double a ribby and a run by Rohde. Rohde is in, ready to go. And now the count now is 0-1 right there. And that's going to be right to second and right to first. And that is the eighth inning. And that will do. Well, two runs come in across the score on two hits. No errors. And one left. We go to the top of the ninth. It is a 8-6 to six ball game. Camden Doznak is coming in. A ground out in the seventh. 0 for 4 to start the top of the ninth inning for Amarillo. Pitch by Evan. Here's the pitch in there. And a cold strike. And the count now is nothing and one. Three outs away from a four-game winning streak. And so far, it is going to be a good one right there. And that's a 0-2 count. And so far, Duznak is now in the hole at 0-2. 0-2, here's the pitch right there. Swing and a miss, get him out full as he chases that one knee high out of his shoes. And he now is in disbelief on that one. Carol. And now, the next batter for Amarillo, Corbin Carroll coming in two for four. Here's the pitch. Knee high out of the zone, and the count now is 1 0. Two for four, two singles, and a run by Carroll. Amarillo down to their final two outs of this ninth inning frame. The pitch right here, outside, far and wide in the middle, and the count now 2 and 0. Oh. Two-zero delivery in there, and the four-seam fastball, and the count now two and one. Two and one, the pitch, and lifted high, and in there and right, and that will go foul, and that will even things at two and two. One more time, Corbin Carroll, the pitch by Miller, lifted right there, and that is going to be a base hit. Runner going to first, going to second, going to second, going to third, and he's going to get in, and that's going to be a inside-the-park home run. 
And the crowd is booing, and I don't blame them, as that one was hit well in the left field area. Left field and center field chase it down, and they have no chance of catching up with it. Drew Ellis, now the tying run coming in for the Sod Poodles. Here's the pitch outside far and wide. Count now is 1-0. The game hangs in the balance between the missions. Sod Poodles have the go-ahead run on deck. And now here's the pitch right there inside. Change up and the count now is 1-1. One one. High scoring affair, 8-7. Mission lead by one. So far two away. Or should I say one away in this one. Two seam fastball. And the count now two and one. Ellis is the tying run for the sod poodles here this evening. Two and one. And lifted high. A four seam fastball. Out and left. That would go foul into the home crowd. And now two and two, looking for a strikeout. Pitch by Evan, and here it goes, and that goes out of play. And the count now still hanging on at two and two. Two and two. Swing and a miss, get him down. And that's the second out of the inning, one more to go. And San Antonio can preserve a W here this evening. Here's Dom Mergolo coming in. As he was a solo home run in the eighth and one for four. Two away, the game hanging on the line. Missions by one, and that's going to be a ball. And the count now is... 2-0. Oh. Here's pitch. Outside, far and wide. And the count now is 3-0. and oh. On deck is Christian Robinson. He comes in and he is the go-ahead run if Mergolo gets on base. And now time is going to be called as here comes the manager. And so far, that will do it for the starter and in the top of the eighth coming in. Lake Bacher getting the call to get the final out in the save situation. 6'3 and 215 pounds, age 24. Getting the call here tonight. Three zero count, pitch inside the zone, and the count now is three and one. Three balls, one strike. The count, and that's going to be a base hit. The base hit comes in. Runner going to first, going to second, and that's going to be. A two-out double. Fielder, number 10, and that brings in Christian Robinson. Game on the line for the missions. And that's going to be a swing and a miss. And they fool him right there. One for four, two-run home run in the fourth. Eight-seven is the ball game. Missions trying to get this W. 0-1 right there. And that's going to be lifted high. And that's going to get in. And can they run them? No, they can't. And boy howdy, call the dogs off. Tied ball game. And that brings up the right fielder. Stone's Garrett, oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, I heard somebody just booing in the audience. I don't blame them. 
boy, they are just so unhappy. They see that play. They know it's going to injure you. And so it did. And now this game has been retied. Garrett, two for three, two singles and a run. So far, the missions, I don't know what, but they are in right there. Catcher has it, and that ends the inning. Well, again, tied with eight and eight. Now Amarillo and the missions are tied. One run can win it. We go to the bottom of the ninth. And the mission's coming up to bat next. Your attention, Vic Reynolds for your being called the pinch Number hit here. And so far as it is the tie ball game, but the winning run now on deck for San Antonio. And that's going to be lifted high in the air. And the center fielder will run it down for the out. C.J. Abrams, the shortstop, two for four, home run, double, and two ribbies coming in. Looking for the winning run. And that's going to be bounced right there off the bat. And that will go foul. Count now, nothing and one. Nighttime in stadium lights as well. Nope. And the change up and the count now one and one as the lights illuminate the whole field. Looks pretty at night when you see it. One ball and one strike the count and that's outside far and wide. And that's a two one count. So two balls and one strike to C.J. Abrams right there. And that is going to bounce. And the third baseman cannot make the play. And that will be an infield single earned. And now the, t the winning run. Going to say the tying, but this game is tied. Winning run out at first. And now Ben Ruda coming in, lifted high and wide right there. Third baseman, big mistake there. And now that now costed that them the it. out. Winston. The out comes in oh, and yeah. two away. Now Winston Sawyer, three for four. And that's going to be line drive but foul. And the count, nothing and one. Three for four by the missions catcher, Winston Sawyer. And four seam fastball, and the count now, one and one. So far, if the missions can keep Amarillo off the board, if we do go extra innings, the runner starts at second. And that's going to be line drive right there. That's going to be a base hit. And that will be a single. And so far, you need one more hit. And the winning run is in. And the ball game is over. And now West Tunnel, 6'1 and 195 pounds. And H26 comes in. Three-run shot could work it here. Here is the pitch. And lifted. High fly ball. And right there, that ends the inning as he will run it down near the wall. And we got more baseball ahead. We go to the top of the 10th. It is a tie ball game against Amarillo and the Missions. Michel Baez, a right-hander coming in. So far, ERA is 771 as he starts the top of the 10th inning in extras. So far, the runner at second. And now Andy Yerzy strike out in the eighth, 0 for 4. 
Looking to get this to the 10th inning without any delay, and that's going to be a slider in the side. And the count now is 1-0. Tuesday night ball game tied at 8. So far, so good for both sides. Amarillo's got a right-hander, Jason McKinley, warming up for the Sod squad. Or should I say the Sod Poodles. 2-1, and, and that's in there. A four-seam fastball. And it's 2-1. 2-1 in there, a called strike, and the count now at 2-2. Two and two. Two, two. High fly ball out there, left field, and that goes foul into the audience. And the count is still even at 2-2. Two and two. Two and two. And did he go? Bingo! He does go around, and there is the out. Well, boy, howdy, hello, how are you? Boy, you didn't see that one coming, did you? <laughs> oh, boy, howdy. <laughs> oh, that was funny right there. Now in, LT Tolbert, as he takes a four-seam fastball. And the count now is nothing and one. Three for four by Tolbert. So far, so good for the missions. And a slider inside. The count now, 0 oh and 2. So far, looking to get this one under the missions control here. And now the 0 oh 2. Right there. And that will be the second out of the inning. The runner still holding on at second. And now you got Jamie Ritchie coming in to pinch hit here for the Sod Poodles. So far, so good. Game on the line. And the t bottom of the 10th could be the favor tied as the missions will try to win the fourth winning streak victory defeating the Corpus Christi Hooks four out of the six game set and winning the whole weekend Friday Saturday and Sunday games against the Corpus Christi Hooks gotta say that was pretty interesting right there and that's outside far and wide down low and the count now is two and one extra innings got eight and eight so far for the sod poodles and the missions first game ever and four seam fastball and the count now at three and one camden doesn't coming in on deck for amarillo three one and chop foul, full count now. Three balls and a two strike count. So far, Baez looks in and he pitches, throws, delivers right there. And that's going to be line drive right to trouble. And now it is in there and Amarillo broke the tie. And now they got another runner at second base and now trying to get out of this inning with one run scored and now here is Camden Dozenak he is 0 for 5 a strikeout in the ninth so far on this Tuesday evening a big battle going on so far, San Antonio look a little shaken up, but even though they can work out of this game, and all they need is to get out with just one run scored, and they could try to win it in the bottom of the 10th. 1-1. One, one. 
And that is chopped foul. And the count now is a ball and two strikes. Kicks and deals. One and two. Here's the pitch. And did he go? Did he go? No, he didn't. Appealed down to third and no swing. And ball two. As that hot corner third umpire says it. He didn't go. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Get him down. And that ends the inning. One run on a couple of hits by Jamie Ritchie. We go to the bottom of the 10th. And it's a 9-8 ball game. Sod Poodles lead it. Jason McKinley coming in. 6'4 and 210 pounds. Age 25. Save situation. As the missions got the winning run now at home plate. Now here is the pitch by McKinley. A swing and a miss and a slider. And the count now, nothing and one. Tying run at second base. Two run shot wins the game. 0 and 1. And that's going to be far and wide. Running home. And that is in the tying run. In the score. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you one thing. They don't go down without a fight. Never surrender, the old saying. And now Manolo Capua coming up 0 for 4 tonight. The pitch, and that's in there, a code strike. And the count now is nothing and one. Winning run at first base. Amarillo and San Antonio tied at nine. Swing and a miss. And the count now is... 0 oh, and 2. Got warming up in the bullpen for Amarillo. And so far, so good. Here's the pitch right there. Swing and a miss. And Kapua goes down. And the first strikeout of the night goes to McKinley. First baseman, Jackson. First baseman Whitaker. is Jackson Whitaker. Strides to the plate. Pitch to him. And that's going to be right there. Right to second, and he's out. And what the heck is going on here? Now the winning run. Getting reformed back at first, and now Scott Rohde, one for four, a double, a ribby, and a run. And all they need, the game on the line, to hit this one hard and hit it hard as fast as you can say. Oh boy, howdy. And that's going to be lined right there, but foul. Say boy, howdy when that thing flies, and it will. And lift it high in the air. And it running hard. And the center fielder runs it, and we got more baseball ahead. Jason Vila gets the game retied. And now it's a 9-9 ball game. Top of the 11th. And I got to say, that right there, pretty crazy. 11th inning, and now Corbin Carroll, 3 for 5, a home run. And boy, howdy, I got to say, the home crowd is booing. And the count now is nothing and one. Three for five by Corbin Carroll. Looking to get it into the bottom of the 11th where there is no trouble needed. Change up far and wide outside. And the count now is a ball and one strike. One and one. And fouled off out there in right and the count now is a ball and two strikes runner at second looking for a strikeout one and two and did he go what do you got? 
Yes, he did. Says hello. How are you? He ring him up, and yes, he went down on strikes. Ha ha! How you like that, my apples? <laughs> what do you like, apples, crispy or fried? I would say I like my apples nice and crispy. They're nice and juicy. Well, I tell you what. Now Drew Ellis coming in as he takes a four-seam fastball code strike. And the count now on one, 0 for 5. Coming in. Stay tuned as we get you set for the AA Central League scores and the standings. And the change up in the count now is 0-2. Game on the line for the missions. Amarillo's got a go-ahead run. Now here is the pitch. Swing and a miss. Get him down. And hey, I got to say something to this guy. Hello, how are you? Good night. See you. Go home. See you later. Ellis goes down on strikes as well. And now here is Dom Mergolo. Mergolo coming in. Here is the pitch. And inside the zone. And a called strike. 0 and 1. Two for five home run and a double and a ribby. Mergolo. Last chance right here. 0 and 1. And that's going to be a base hit. And what do you say? We got more baseball. And yes, we do. Amarillo breaks the tie. And now we have a double digit. Double, I can't even talk tonight. Double digit team. And now time is going to be called here as here comes the manager. And so far, Brady Feigl coming in. Your attention, please. Now, Fisher, for the mission, number 61. So far, with Feigl coming in, 6'4 and 195 pounds, age 28. So far, trying to get this game under control. The pitch by Feigl. Swing oh, and a right. miss and a slider. And the count now, nothing and one. Home run, single, three RBIs, two for five by Christian Robinson. So far, so good. Looking in. 0 oh, and 1 the count right there. Fouled off, change up, and the count now is 0 oh, and 2. Well, bottom of the 11th, and so far, the missions. Should have no problems trying to get in there and to secure a victory. Here's the pitch right there at the dirt at close range. Had a ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes to count. And that's going to be right there. And that's going to fall for the base hit. And now you got second and third now. And two away. And that means Amarillo looking to get a victory themselves and end a three-game winning streak for the missions. Here's the pitch right there. Far and wide. Change up out. And now Stone Garrett, two for four, two singles and two runs. Looking to be the hero here. And now the 1-0. Swing and a miss. And, and the count now is a ball and a strike. One and one. Swing and the changeup has him down. And the count now is a ball and two strikes. One and two. Right there. Now bounce the wall and foul. So far, so good. High scoring affair. Amarillo 10, missions 9. 1 2 again. Right there. Lifted high. 
And the run is in to score. Two runs come in. And that makes it a 12-9 ball game. And the Sod Poodles are now a three-run range. And now Andy Yerzy coming out. Here's the pitch. High fly ball. Third, uh, I should say somebody out there gets that one. And that will do. Three runs, couple hits, no errors, and one left. We go to the bottom of the 11th. And we have a 12-9 Amarillo lead. Bottom of the 11th, Brady Feigl coming up. The pitcher. Pitcher here. Looking for a two-run shot that brings in the tying run up from the on-deck circle. Swing and a miss. And Feigl. Boy, howdy. I say hello to you. Out now, 0-1. And lifted high. Center fielder running, and nobody gets there. And now the tying run coming on. And now it is getting pretty interesting, guys. We're late into the ball game. Guys try to give it a rundown. Nobody could catch it. Now C.J. Abrams coming in. Far and wide, curveball. And Abrams is triple shy of a cycle. Three for five, home run, double, and single. Looking to go, ready, is McKinley. A ball, no strikes, and that's going to be lifted. Right there, left field has it, and the out comes in, and one away. Now batting, left fielder, Fair. And now Ben Ruda coming up. Pop out in the ninth in 0 for 5. Three-run shot gets them tied up again. And outside, curveball. And the count now, 1 and 0. Bottom of the 11th, Amarillo 12, missions 9. 1-0. And that's going to be ground ball right there. And they won't get him. Thought they had the double play. It would have ended the ball game. And now Winston Sawyer, four for five, coming in, ready to go. Game on the line, 12-9 is the score. And four-seam fastball. And the count now, nothing and one. Oh, and one. And far and wide outside and foul. And now the count, oh, and two. Down to their last strike. Oh, and two. The pitch outside again. Curve ball. A ball, two strikes by McKinley. Looking for a three-run shot. It'll tie the ball game, and they would be safe from elimination. Here's pitch outside, and boy, howdy. Call the dogs off. My goodness, and that is out. Can't make it back. Amarillo wins. Well, that right there, sod poodles. First game at San Antonio. They win here in extras as the three runs in the 11th will propel the Sod Poodles to the victory. Well, that will evaporate a three game winning streak. And so far, it will do it. Well, stay tuned. We got the final runs, hits, and errors of tonight and the double-A central standings coming in 
as we end this one beautiful evening. Final score, Amarillo 12 and San Antonio 9. Back with more after this. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. Well, this game was really well. And I got to say, tonight, the Amarillo Sod Poodles will victoriously walk away from what appeared to be a ball game going to the missions. Well, let's go ahead and give you your double-A central scoreboard. And so far, uh, let's go ahead and get you going. Frisco was shut out by the Arkansas Travelers. The final score was three to nothing. High scoring affair for the Sod Poodles and the Missions. Final score 12 to 9. Northwest Arkansas wins against the Wichita Wind Surge. By the final score, the Naturals win 10 to 9. Final through 9, Midland wins against Corpus Christi. The final score 7 to 5. And last but not least, the Tulsa Drillers at the Springfield Cardinals. Final score 5 to 3. Well, let's go over your runs, hits, and errors. First, for the victorious Amarillo Sod Poodles. 12 runs, 18 hits, no errors. For San Antonio, 9 runs, 16 hits, and 1 error. Well, let's go ahead and bring you the AA Central standings. And so far, let's get right to it. So the Rough Riders will lose. They will be 33 and 22. Missions lose. They will be 30 and 25. Rockhounds will win against Corpus Christi. They'll be 27 and 30. Corpus Christi losing to the Rockhounds, 24 and 31. Amarillo winning against the Missions, they'll be 25 and 30. So far, the Missions hold up into second place. Amarillo down in last place. But so far, they are well behind. Well, for the Wichita Wind Surge, so far, they were beat by Northwest Arkansas. And now they'll be 31 and 24 for the Wind Surge. Northwest Arkansas picks up the 28th win of the season. And then you have Tulsa, Tulsa and Springfield. Springfield will win the 19th. So they'll be 19 and 36 as the Springfield Cardinals will Run down Tulsa, final 5-3. to three. Tulsa now at 30-24. And, and Frisco was shut out by the Travelers. So Arkansas winning the 28th in this one. Well, I got to say, this was a perfectly good ball game. And want to thank Little Miss Mother Nature 
for what she did. She proved herself to be nice. We had a good night tonight. So far, the missions put up a fight. They end up losing, but evidently, may the best team win in this one. Well, the missions will fall. They will have their three game winning streak evaporated. And now it is a loss. But not to worry, there is always a tomorrow night if Mother Nature will be nice. So let's hope and we'll find out tomorrow. Dominic Mergolo will be the player of the game. He had a three for six, a home run, and two bases. Winner on the mound for Amarillo. Jason McKinley takes the win for the Sod Poodles and the loss for San Antonio, Michelle Baez. Well, I got to say, if Mother Nature tends to get at her bad side tomorrow night, if games are postponed, make sure that you come down and get your tickets because we will give you the best tickets for our next homestand against the Springfield Cardinals. So, anyway, that's guaranteed promise. Well, as of this game, the final, Amarillo 12 and the Missions 9. We'll see you hopefully tomorrow. And hope Mother Nature is nice. Have a good night, everybody.